Yo, yo, I'm back. This is Leroy with Talks with Leroy on the Unpopular Opinion show. Uh, today, I got another video um, bringing to you. It's my man Jesse Lee Peterson interviewing Monique, and they're talking about uh, black people in America and just race in general. Very, very informative uh, video. Jesse has his unique way of unleashing uh the truth out of individuals by how he uh somewhat ha has a different approach and how he, he words his questions i love it. it it's unique um but like i said this is a uh interview he did with monique the actress i'm about to play it i'm gonna stop it and interject as we go i felt myself like, what is he? But then I had to say, you know what, Monique? When you talk about love, you got to walk in it. And though you and Jesse Lee may not agree, it don't stop me from loving you. There you go. What I do have for you, brother, is empathy. Because when the disconnection comes in, and you you are, you are a black man. Make no mistake. Black as the ace of space. You, 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 when I look at you, I don't see no space. I see a black man. Black like as the ace of space. But black as the ace of space. As the ace, you black as Ian e on the rock. That's oh, right. So, <laughs> when I watch my brother, hold on, hold on, hold on. that is the. I don't know. This is my first time watching this video too, y'all. But I don't know. It looks like Monique got a tongue ring in a. Mouth. I don't know. I'm just I'm watching this video with y'all, but it showed up. If I see it again, I'm gonna try to stop. Beautiful king, beautiful king, and our community needs our kings, and we don't need our kings to talk against us or at us. We need our kings to talk to us and with us. We don't need our kings to tell us all that we're not. We need our kings to tell us what we are. So when you say oh, we're in a fallen state, you are part of the problem, Jesse. No, I've been working 30 years to show blacks how to overcome the fallen state All by right. showing them how to go and forgive their parents for failing them and return to the fathers. And once they do that, life becomes amazing because they fall away from the color thing. They fall you know away what? from so, anger. They fall away I've from heard, anger. I've heard when I hear us, refer to us as black people. When I hear, that's why I say us and we, because they my people. It's me. I can't disconnect me and say those black people. I'm trying to talk to the black people. I'm talking to us. I'm talking to our community. So when you start this. I feel Monique on that um, with the us and we and calling them black. However, shoot, I don't want to be lumped in the same uh Boat is a lot of them. I don't want to be lumped in a boat um, because all of us and all of we aren't doing the things that, that are, are not worthy of doing out here. All, all the, the mishaps and, and, and horrible bad things that are, that are being done, which I shouldn't have to elaborate and go into what are the things that are being done out here by us? We, we know all of us ain't a part of that. So I don't know. Is it or is it not time for us to draw some type of uh, separation between us and them? I don't know. I'm just saying. Connecting the blacks. Like now, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not like, the, I'm trying to teach the black people. Not I'm trying to teach my people. But Monique, once you're born again of God, your, your people are, and my people would be people who are born again of God, turn to the Father, and they are of spirit, not of the color. So yes, those see, are your people now. That, if the world saw us like that, it wouldn't be inequality. It wouldn't be injustice. It wouldn't be one of our black men or daughters. But it doesn't, or once you're born of children, God, it doesn't like matter. They shot up and beat and killed for no reason. So, Jesse, yes, color does matter. And stop. You can't sell. If color did not matter. It doesn't. We, if, it's, 
Well, then we would see just as many white ki- white babies being killed by police brutality than we're seeing black babies. If color did not matter, then you would not have black the black community saying this is inequality. If color did not matter, you would not have our school system. See, and I- see but to me, it, it, what Monique is saying is true. However, we got to ask ourselves and the community today, why are these black children? getting into all these trouble. Why are these black children uh, having so many police encounters? It's a reason behind that. And that's the reason I'm watching this video and narrating it because I want to interject to my people, the people who know me, the people who think like me. It's people out there that want to ignore and try to wash over the real reasons why we're in a lot of these bad situations. And we're going to change that. We're going to make sure that's not, that's not happening anymore. And I've been in it. I've been to those inner city schools. And the teachers say to me, Monique, they don't give us the funding. We don't even have the funding. I've, I've been in it. But they're being ripped off funding. by their own black leadership because they've turned their lives over to someone but else. You hear me? Wrong is wrong and right is right. I'm not ma- right. You keep bringing up Obama. I'm not making right, right or wrong. I'm saying, listen, our community is. When did he bring up Obama? suffering but they need fathers let me ask a final question because of time if black people today were raised by a father and a mother who love what's right with all their heart soul and might and they set good examples for their children taught them how to work how to be responsible how to treat others the way they would like to be treated would most black people be in the condition they're in today if people if people but how about the that's a yes or no answer. I don't understand why it's so hard for people to say yes or no. He made very, very valid points. I'm, I'm quite frankly, I, I, I'm tired of hearing about how bad the black community is, how bad the black youth is. <laughs> When there's never no mainstream discussions about the fathers being involved and being in the children's life. And if they're not, what really is the root cause of fathers not being in the children's life? These discussions aren't had publicly, but we know that this these problems exist. There needs to be more discussion about this. I'm going to cover more videos about why the fathers are in the children's life. That's very, very important. But because people are making a buck off our heartaches and our hard times and our hardships, those type of topics and subjects aren't discussed. How about the blacks? If what well, let me say this. If our community had both parents in the house and both parents were fighting for the betterment of their children, yes, our community would be better. That's what we Absolutely. need. Fight- if the white community had both parents in the house, because see what happens, Jesse, is when we get brothers like you, people would think that we are the problem. You are. Black Absolutely. people are their own problem. What happens is... When- I got to agree. And it's people like Monique, for whatever reason, I don't know why she try to sweep stuff up under the rug when she know what it is. You got to take accountability for your own actions. I'm not perfect. By a long shot, it's a lot that I I need to learn. It's a lot of growing that I'm going to have to do and and then I'm aware of that I need to do. But my sisters and brothers, my families and members of my community need to take accountability for their own actions. You need to be responsible for your own actions. You can't, you, you got to stop pointing the finger at other people. Even if they did sit you up in a situation and trick you, stop pointing the finger at other people and be the best you can be. Be truthful with yourself. The welfare system is far more white people on welfare than it is black. Far more. 
But why they're not complaining like the blacks? Right. Huh? Why you don't hear the voice going where right. they're complaining and blaming someone else like the blacks do? Well, I need you to go to the welfare offices, Jesse. I need to take a trip to the welfare office. I did because I wanted to see it for myself. I wanted to see it. And when you see our white brothers and sisters in there, not that I'm judging, not that I'm judging. You need to go take a trip. So maybe you'll stop thinking as they brainwashed you into believing, oh, it's just a black complaint. No, wrong is wrong and right is right, regardless of the color. We know that blacks complain and the whites complain. We know that. We saying black people complain more. That's what we saying. I don't see how her or anybody that's living in today's time would even try to argue something like that when they know how their people are. When they know how their people are. This is 2024. We are not going to be embarrassed to talk about certain issues and topics. We are not going to be embarrassed about it. Yes, white people that's on welfare. Right. Whether it's more of them than us, to me, that's pointless. It's pointless. It's a service that, that's, that some people need and, and, and helps them. So to me, whether it's black more black than white or more white, it does not make a difference. However, he was, Jesse was making a valid point about who's doing the complaining. And it's more black people that do complaining. You still got black people in this country that say don't nobody help them. Don't nobody do nothing for them. But here they are on Section 8. Get out of here. Color. And right now, when you start speaking, like some white people that speak of, oh, the blacks, the blacks, the blacks, the blacks. What that says is I'm so disconnected from y'all that, yeah, it is your problem. It is. Let me show y'all how I can help y'all. Let me show you how I can fix y'all. You're not the savior, Jesse. But Monique, You're every adult, if you do that agree way. that every adult is responsible for themselves, and when they complain all the time and blame others, that's a sign of weakness, right? Well, oh, come on. Let's talk about it. When they blame others, that's a sign of weakness. So the man that is your great white hope, every time we see that ass on TV, he complaining about something. So now I want you to chew on your words, Jesse Lee. But he's not complaining about evil. Yeah, stop it. Now I want you to stop it. I want he's that man pointing it out. Him. He's pointing it out, not so, complaining. So, so because we, he is a winner. So we're not pointing it out. We're complaining. Yeah, and burning down and destroying. And well, let me say this to you. Destroying statues and flags as though that's going to make their life as better and not. Have, as they should have. How do we salute people that own us, Jesse Lee? How do we walk our children down the street and say, look at this great white hope as you refer to them and tell our children you should respect and honor because they own people that look like us. Maybe not you, maybe not your mom and dad, maybe not their mom and dad, but I can damn sure bet you somewhere down the line, the people that you want to honor and they're your great white hope. They own people that look like you, Jesse Lee. Me personally, I got a problem with people owning people, period. But it bothers me even more to know that black people own black people. I'm just going to put that right though. So again, again, when we have brothers such as yourself and sisters that speak about all that we're doing, and it's just us. It's just the black problem. The blacks, the blacks, the blacks. As if you're not, that's the problem. Moni, answer this for me, then we got to run. I, I'm way over time. Um, black people, not all, not all, not all, not all, not all, not all but most. <laughs> <laughs> black people, nobody in the world like black people now. They have made it worse for them. No race like them or anybody. They're afraid of them. They try to avoid them. They skirt around. Why do you think that is, Jesse? Because they have been acting a fool the last year. So burning and destroying and killing and robbing and raping and blaming. Now they, they have, have more enemies than they have. Than they, they have more enemies today than they have before because, because nobody like them know the history and we don't give a damn not being like let me be clear no nah. you don't have to like me but you have to respect me but you've tried and to do a, it by force and you can't force anyone to fanny, love you fanny lou hamer who <laughs> are your producers better there are your parents still alive my parents yes no they do Okay. Aunts, uncles, 
They yeah. may be older than you. Yes. I feel like you come from a family that didn't tell you about your history. Because when you say to me, who was Fannie Lou Hamer? Right. See, I'm going to tell you who she was. Fannie Lou Hamer was a black woman. And as you recall, she's a fat black woman. <laughs> and that black woman wanted to go vote. She simply wanted to go vote, Jesse Lee. And the beating they gave to that black woman. And see, not the white man didn't beat her. The white man stood back and gave the weapon and gave the stick to the black man. But Monique, what does it have uh, to do with uh, black people uh, uh, today? I'll tell you. Because you because asked me there about was time when women couldn't vote, period. You asked me about the burning down and the looting. I'm going to tell you about it. That's what you asked me. Should they be doing that, right? Should they be doing that? Right. Why would they do that? See, this woman named Fannie Lou Hamer, I want you to do your research and your homework so you'll understand why. I, I know who you're talking about. I heard of her before, but it doesn't matter. Okay, well, now, we go, well, now you heard of her, right? Yeah. So she said, as she was speaking candidly, she said, this country was built on our backs. Not true. Blood. Not true. Very true, Jesse. No, it really. Was built on our backs. I'm going to have you back, Monique. Blood. That is not With true. That's not With true. Labor. Jesse, listen. What I'm not going to do is debate you about this. Right. Because, because you and I both can go to the facts and look it up. But what happens is we built it up and we want to be treated like human beings. But we the way that blacks are acting, the they're running we people away from them. So if, if they pull, when they pull a black man over, and he and the family with his car. And then that black man winds up dead. And he did everything they told him to do. Was he acting like an animal, Jesse? He's not, if he what does, he Monique, if he does what the cops ask him to do, he's not going to end up dead. But if he fight the cop, if he draw guns, if they go for knives, if they're running because they're criminals, they're going to end up dead. The cop has no other choice but to protect themselves and protect the innocent people. These people that you guys, these people who are getting killed by cops are criminals. They're thugs. They're running. I'm going to oh, I'm going to say this to you, Brother Jesse. Now, of course, I don't think Jesse talking about all the black guys. He, like I say, he says things that are true. And, and, a, and a lot of times I think he says things to just get people's attention. Sort of like Charleston White and more people to do that. But uh, the, the, I agree, the vast majority of, of uh, the young men who get killed by the police, I do believe that they're, they're doing something foolish. They're doing something wrong. And that's the vast majority, not all. It's disheartening and it's disappointing. Well, it's the truth. I thought you were about the truth. Me. I want you to hear me, please. Please hear me out. All right. Okay. It's disheartening and disappointing to watch a black man validate and co-sign the brutality and the murders and the killings that has happened to our black men, our black women, our black mothers, our black fathers, and to sit here in front of you, black man, and you sit there and you find. I don't think he validated it. He just made some interesting point to the topics that were being discussed. I don't think he validated it at all. Reason, and our black men have been shot in the back with no weapons on them. Our black men have been choked to death and pose no threat. And you sit there, black man, and you make that okay, black man, let me say this to you. I don't know what color your wife is. Not one time did he say it was okay. So it's, I wonder where, where she getting this from. Did, it, did she sit in on the same interview that we watching? Is she watching uh, Jesse with a gray shirt on with green stripes on and got boss on? What video is she talking about? And I don't know what color your children are, but I'm going to pray for them. But Monique, are you I saying that I, these blacks are doing I, nothing? I'll tell you what I'm saying. They're not bringing that upon I'm themselves. I'll tell you what I'm saying. I empathize for the village. But I thought you were about truth. Great. I am. But then the I truth am. is, if they didn't add let out. Me this. Let me say this. There's, when I went to that jail, there are some sisters that were supposed to be there. They were supposed to be there. Yep. And they looked at me and said, bitch, I'm supposed to be here. So we was clear. <laughs> 
Then there was something that looked at me and said, Monique, I ain't supposed to be in here. So what you're saying to me is not all our black men has been shot. I'm not saying all of them are innocent. No. Not, not but why don't it. why don't the blacks speak out loud about those who are bringing this upon themselves by running, right. going for guns, right. trying to get knives and weapons? And but what and, about the ones who haven't, Jesse Lee? And, and mouthing the cops. The ones who haven't. I don't what know if any of them haven't. I don't know see, if they, because you're not paying attention. I'm paying close you attention. See, you want to see? You want to see what you want to see, brother? No, no, Jesse no. Lee. And what this? What I'm gonna do is because I love you. I do. I love you, brother. And for all your listeners that's listening, I want y'all to hear me. Please put one up for our brother tonight because we got a lost one. And we got one that's so lost that he's willing to throw his people under the bus. But I want you to take yourself, because color don't matter. I want you to go to you can call it what you want to, because I feel like Jesse do on a lot of a lot of the, the discussion, especially the ones for the day. And she say he throwing the his people up under the bus. I'm quite sure they would say the same about me. And this is my reply to that. They gonna throw me up under the bus from what they doing. They throwing me up under the bus. So what difference do it make? What difference do it make? You got people out there that's doing foolish shit. They're going to tell lies and make it seem like nobody helped them. They just really lived a hard life hard and went through more than anybody else did to work hard. And it's a lie. And, and they going to politicians going to lump us all together and say, hey, they all need help. They all say they in this type of situation where it's not true. It's not true. Some of us out here really do get up and go to work and try to make a better life for ourselves and try to provide, make a better future so that we can help the, the youth and the ones that come after us. Some of us really do do that. And then you got those who don't. And the ones who's lived, the older people my age who have lived long enough and Jesse's age, we can sit here and tell you. We know a lot of these people. We ain't seen how people came up 20, 30 years. And we were telling you, they ain't did nothing. They ain't did nothing. But these are the very ones that are saying, hey, man, ain't no jobs out here. It's messed up. I can't, I can't do nothing. I can't provide for my family. I can't do nothing. And we like, uh, no, that ain't it. I've been working the whole time. I've been doing something constructive the whole time. The reason I ain't where I am or I'm supposed to be because I've been dishing out money, helping the wrong people, helping everybody. To the welfare office in your area. And I want you to see all the complaining going on. I want you to take yourself to the areas that's considered not so fancy and they just happen to be white people. And I want you to hear all the complaining going on. See, but it still would be six. weakness, though, if they complain. Anyone I, who complains is weak. Then I appreciate you saying that. Don't just put it on us. And your your great your great white hope, your great white hope. Read his tweets, watch his comments. They're amazing. Complaining, baby, I don't know what it is. <laughs> no, it's not. But Monique, anything you want to promote? Are you on tour? Or write books? Or you know what I want to promote? This is what I want to promote. You ready for this, Jesse? I am ready. I want to promote you finding yourself. Amazing. Promote you loving your people. I want to promote you standing up for a community that you know has been mistreated. I want to promote you to find out the history about where you. There's a lot of community people in communities that I'm sure that they feel like they was mistreated. But how many of those people in the community are going to want to help themselves? That's that's all Jesse's saying, and that's all I'm saying. You got to want to help yourself. A lot of people don't want to help themselves. Now, who are we going to uh, delegate to go out in the community and, and, and bear witness to these people not wanting to help themselves before we say, hey, stop putting down people within your community? They don't want to help themselves. Come from. I know your mom and dad 
daddy raised you, but find out where they came from. Then find out where they came from. Then find out where they came from. I want to promote nothing but love, but I want to promote you to stop being ignorant. Monique, check out my really are. check out my organization, Bond Rebuilding the Man dot com. We have been rebuilding the family by rebuilding rebuilding the man for 30 years we tutor we counsel yes. i started an entrepreneur program where i helped the guys of all races start businesses i started a credit union where i loaned them the money they have to pay it back we're about rebuilding the family bring it back to right. order of god in christ right. christ and man man over right. woman and woman over children we've been doing it for 30 years check it out i think you're gonna want to help me Jesse Lee, you are my brother from another mother. Because if it was my mother, I'd have whipped your ass on this <laughs> conversation. Do you hear me? I oh, love you. Brother. Thank you so you. much for coming on, all right? Hey, like I said, it was a good interview. It was a topic and discussions that need to be had amongst the community. I hope I didn't offend anybody from how I narrated it and things I might might or might have not said. But it's a it's a subject that I'm near and dear to as well. Uh, I'm passionate about family. I'm, I'm passionate about God. Um, these are discussions not not to leave out. I'm passionate about the children, but these are discussions that need to be had. I hope this is a start. Bear with me on on my channel. I'm learning. I'm growing. Um, I just know something has to be done, and I had to do my part and take initiative to start these type of dialogue, start putting out these type of videos of videos that I watch on a day-to-day -day basis, hearing other people's viewpoints and perspectives that help shape my viewpoint and perspectives on, on the world. So thank you if you stayed with me this long. Thank you for tuning in. Till next time, this is Leroy with Talks with Leroy on the Unpopular Opinion channel.